What's up guys, it's Joe again back with another video. My tires that I ordered they are finally here, so we're gonna go put them on my wheels. I'm hoping I'm hoping to be able to put the wheels on the car today, but like I said last time when I test fitted them, we might need uh, we're gonna need the spacers and hopefully the, the tires because I'm putting 265s hopefully they clear the fenders and I will be able to be uh, to put them on the car without any issues. But if they don't then we might have to roll my fenders first and try to put the tires again, the tires, the, uh, the wheels back on. But right now I'm gonna tell it, take the wheels out of the packaging, the boxes, because I need the space for the old tires to come back in, and then the boxes are gonna get used by one of my friends uh, for his wheels. So I'm gonna put them out of the um, out of the box and take them to my car. So this is the way I put them on. I put one in the front, one in the middle, and two in the back. Um, the only reason I didn't get the boxes is because eventually they're going to have tires. So either if this one's going to the car, the other ones I have in the car right now have to come inside. Maybe I will be able to fit one in the trunk because I have a really small trunk. The box didn't fit, but hopefully just the wheel and the tire still will. But that's why. Uh, see you guys at the tire shop. Hey guys, so we're here at the tire shop. I already got the the wheels out, and what I was afraid of happened. So I was I thought I was gonna clear the uh, the brakes with a five or ten millimeter uh, or ten millimeter uh, spacer, but he was telling me the since he put it because he was thinking about putting a fifteen on it, and but this will poke the wheels because it doesn't have uh, the wheels. Don't have, oh shit! The wheels don't have a space in the back. I hit it by accident. Oh, I hit myself. Um, have the space in the back for this to clear out so he's thinking about putting a 25 millimeter in order for it to be able to see the wheels on and then this be able to clear the uh, the uh, the space in the back of the wheels so he has a 25 right now he's testing the man they will clear but I feel like my wheels are gonna stick out way more than I wanted to so what I probably we're gonna do is gonna put the tires on, test out how it looks with the spacers, how much it, it, it comes out of the car. And if I don't like it, I just take the wheels back with me and then get this fixed. And if I like it, I just leave the wheels with the spacers on. This is the tires, they're already here. They are 265s, 35s, 18s. Nanking, I think that's the name of it, Nanking. Um, I totally forgot the entire name of it. But I think the two oh NS two R and then like I said let me see if I can show you guys as well 265 35 18 uh, let's let, let me try to see how I'm gonna work it out with him and then I get back to you guys so well, he puts my uh, my tires on we're gonna put the tires first to see um, how the car looks with the tires and wheel together because of course the tires gonna make it a little bit wider and then we're gonna put the 25 millimeter on the 20 millimeter on sorry then put uh, then put the tires on it and try to see how much it sticks out if I don't like it like I said I just take the tires back if I do we go for it uh, but he has stock of tires everywhere he's pretty reasonable dude um, I hit him up online he has a Facebook page and everything um, his, uh, the name of the tire shop is called uh, Sakuma it's kind of like Sakura, but instead of the R, you just put an M on it, so Sakuma. And then he has a little warehouse in here where he keeps different types of tires. Uh, 
he got my setup of tires for about 600 and maybe 50 bucks maybe a little bit less than that and that's including the tires the tires gonna ship here tire inst installation with everything on it so he's gonna put the tires on the <laughs> the tires on the wheels and then put the wheels on the car and then balance the tires and everything so all that uh, I, I think it was a good deal compared to the different coats that I got from different places but it's a little tire shop it's really small but you get a good deal and I, he got recommended a lot by different people so he uh, apparently he does a really good job like I said good job with prices pretty good so right now we're gonna wait till the tires come into the car and then the tires come into the wheels and then we're gonna test fit them with the spacers to see how bad it looks or if actually it makes the car look a little bit better so we tried doing the 25 at the beginning it looked like it actually was gonna fit like it actually gave me hopes because I was like it's only gonna stick out like this much right but once we put them on and the car actually sat on the ramp um, the tires sticked out to like this far away so that was like not even rolling my fenders was gonna make it work because we had it what 25 or 20 I can't remember millimeter spacer I know if you can clear it I just had to make some adjustments so maybe with the 15 instead of it sticking out this much it will probably yeah, but still stick it out as much, probably stick out to like right here, then that, I can work with that, you know? But right now what he's gonna do, he's gonna put the, finish putting the tires back on. That's how it looks. It looks freaking amazing, I love it. Um, 265s, it looks fucking beautiful on the wheel. I just love the way they look. I wanna make it work. I'm gonna, <laughs> I have to make it work, cause I love these wheels. So, I'm about to leave right now. I got my wheels, I make them fit in the back. Uh, this one it's one top another one. It's tire on tires, no wheel on wheel, tire on tire, so it's no damage in the rims. But I'm gonna stop at App Garage real quick to try to see what type of spacers they have to see if I can get one of them that actually works with my wheels. But hopefully I find the right one.